Okay, welcome everybody to the Hand Command Center. My name is Greg Irwin, and we're live right now. So if you see this later, and some of it seems a little silly, when you're live, you're live. It's like sports. Sometimes there's a good play. Sometimes it's in here, so that's kind of how I look at these lives. Uh, my, again, my name's Greg Irwin. I'm Mr. Finger Fitness. Like I said, you're live, you're live. How are you guys doing today? Um, shuffling, finger fitness shuffling is something I want to talk about and demonstrate to you. The idea of shuffling is like back and forth. This is all... All your fingers, your whole hand like this. And it's, it's like kind of, I thought, shuffling cards when you're going back and forth. That's what it kind of reminded me of. That's why I called it finger fitness shuffling. See how this works? Now, you can do one at a time. You separate your fingers like this. And you go back and forth. I'm going to get to that in a minute. See how this is going to work? Pull your hands apart. One finger in, one finger out, and back together. This is called finger fitness. It's kind of like finger calisthenics. Do you get it? Can you do it? Try it. I'm going to, I'm going to just watch for a minute before you try, because, I mean, obviously, this is really difficult the first time you try to do it. Uh, you want to go nice and slow. For instance, can you bend just one finger at a time? And by the way, welcome to welcome to the Hand Command Center. It's the Hand Command Center. It's the Great Wall of Hands. It's the Great Wall of Hands. All right. Let's Take a deep breath. <sighs> We're having some fun. We're doing some finger fitness. It's the great wall of hands behind me. And you're at the hand command center. That's right, it's the hand command center. Uh, okay. Now, let's do something simple like this. Can you bend your fingers one at a time? Can you bend your fingers one at a time? See how that works? If you can bend just your one finger, can you, it's the ring finger that can be a little difficult. But your little finger. If you can bend your little finger, say, yes, I got it. Can you do that? Can you do the little finger? Okay, so this is what I call single isolation. Double. Then your inside and your outside fingers. See how that works? <clears throat> Every other finger like this. See how that works? Can you, who can do that? Can you do that? Come on, you guys. What's happening? My name is Gerger. When I'm showing you a little finger fitness, I started doing this like... 36 years ago is when I came out with my first book and video. I know it's backwards. I gotta figure out how to switch this thing around. I'm kinda new to these lives, you know. But this came out in 1988. <clears throat> it's available as a download from handfitness.com or handhealth.com. They're both my websites. I'm trying to help people just even think about how important their hands are and take steps to help 
your hands develop. Doing finger exercises can help you maintain or enhance the overall functionality of your hands and fingers. So, <clears throat> let me show you. Let's let's do another one. Come on, you guys. Uh, I'm not sure where you guys are with this whole thing. The bends, and then two at a time. See that? Every other finger like that. Hello. Hey. So so, how are we doing? Can you do that? can do it, you can't, that's cool. I started doing this to help me play musical instruments better, like um, mainly the keyboards. Um, playing the keyboards, it's so important, that, that finger independence, you know? Two at a time. That's how you play your chords and your scales. And that's what I thought, you know, if I can do some basic moves, I just showed you a couple of them. Let me show you this, the splits. This is pretty easy. <clears throat> Spread your fingers apart. That's the, that's the movement you're gonna try to isolate. Let me show this to you a little closer here. Here we go. You just split your first finger apart. Last finger. And the inside. And the outside. It's a really good stretch, especially if you're a guitar player. Yeah, man, it, it definitely helps you. A lot of guitarists over the years have said, hey, you know, the finger fitness helps me loosen up. They're just, it's like push-ups and sit-ups for your fingers. See how that goes? You just want to do this uh, real slow when you first start. Now, there's also opposites. So if this is the same, this would be opposite to that. These are the same. Now, if you switch one, now they're opposite. Do you see how that works? And then there's these moves you put together. You do various ways you can cross through. So for me, how I developed finger fitness was trying to demonstrate the exercises in a performance. And that's how I came out with my first uh, red and blue glove dance idea. It got me on The Tonight Show, it was in the middle of my video. Uh, I was on Johnny Carson, I, it's one of my videos on YouTube, I think it's on my home page, you guys should check it out. <clears throat> So along with finger fitness exercises, oh, I said I was gonna show some shuffling. I'm gonna get back to that since there's a few more people got in here. Tell your friends, share it, hey, let's go, what's happening? This is the Hand Command Center, by the way. This is the Great Wall of Hands. This is the largest collection. This is the largest collection of hands in the world. This is the largest collection of hands in the world. You guys hear that? This is the largest collection of hands in the world. Isn't that pretty cool? It's live. Hey, twin. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to do this a little bit. If we can get a few people here, I might do these a few more times. 
I've done television shows all around the world. I was on The Tonight Show a couple times. And uh, lately I thought, well, I started doing some lives on some places. And I thought, you know, TikTok needs some some little hand, you know? Little hands get over there. And so, you know, I was at this other platform. TikTok, TikTok. I thought it was time to do some other things. And so, this is the hand command center I created. A lot of people think it's a blue, blue screen, a green screen. It is a blue screen. You can see that it's blue. But it's real because I can reach up and get myself high fives. I think that's kind of cool, you know? Where else can you see some, some high fives that you can just do pretty high anytime? So, if you get a chance, tell some people, follow. Is there a button over there that you can follow or do anything with? <clears throat> so, when you're at the Hand Command Center, it's kind of a cool place to hang out. I like to see what people are thinking, if there's any questions, any guitarists here, any musicians, any people who need their hands to work or feel better. You know, and it's just not about <clears throat> developing your hands for dexterity. It's, it's about developing your overall um, strength, limberness, um, for people who need their hands in various ways, like plumbers, carpenters, uh, electricians, hairstylists, gardeners. Oh. My friend, he worked on the railroad for 30, 40 years. And if you don't do anything, your hands are very likely are going to have problems over the years, you know. If you do simple exercises to help limber them up, uh, and one of the other things that can really help with this, and maybe you've got some, you don't realize this, this can change your life. This can really change your life. This can change your life. See, everybody's saying it can change your life over here. All right, everybody, I like when they talk like that. So, do you have some marbles? Get some... I really like the stone ones. Uh, you might have seen the ones that are chrome. Anybody have any of these or seen these before? Does anybody have one of these? Does, let's see here, what's going on here? Does anybody have one of these? <clears throat> Does anybody have one of these, a pair of these? You roll it around in both directions, one way than the other way. And separate like this, see? Around like that. One direction. And then the other direction. Wow, that's pretty cool. I know it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty cool. So you just roll one way. Has anybody ever seen these before? The other way. But not even uh, doing any fancy stuff, just getting them and rolling them around. And like I was saying before, I really like these things are running all around here. <clears throat> I really like the stone ones. Even if you get some golf balls. I, have, I can't find my other golf ball, but I'll tell you what's not easy to do is is get some, get like a golf ball and a ping pong ball. Two golf balls, ping pong balls, all kinds of, all kinds of balls, even eight balls. What about eight balls? These are kind of cool. 
You know, this is my favorite number, eight. Does anybody like to, what's, your, what's your favorite number? Can I ask you guys? Come on. Come on, you guys. What's happening out there? Can, can you tell me what's your favorite number? I like eights, and I especially like the number 88. Somewhere around here, I got license plates that say 88. You don't believe me? Type in your number. Who likes the eights? Oh, that's right. You guys can't read it because it's backwards. But you can read it if you really try to read it, I think. Hands 88. There you go. It's pretty cool, huh? That's the, that's the sound of an 88 catching the ground. So... So there you go. Uh, let me let me roll these eights for you though. I don't know if you've ever seen this before. I'm the only one that probably does this in the whole world. You know, I was demonstrating before. Well, you know what? I, I, before I roll the eights, let me give you more of a full demonstration of how to work with the spheres before I kind of flow into an art form, so to speak. With with any exercise tool, in a sense, you can take it to another level of, of flow or movement. It's like what exercises become when a gymnast takes them and puts them into motion in their dance. And that's what the spheres are to me. Watch this. Set up a little bit better. Check this out now. There's some spheres. It's ready. Check this out. Isn't that pretty cool right there? You're just going so slow. I mean, just a simple movement. And so, once you kind of get the movement, it's very, it is the eight, you know? Like I was saying before, it's the eight right there. Not too bad, huh? What do you guys think? Not too bad. 
pretty cool. Well, thanks. Thank you. And thank you. Whoa. That's pretty wild. I'm glad you guys uh, had a chance to check that out. And all right, back at the hand command center. After we did a little contact jump, we do the high fives. And I want to tell everybody, thanks for coming by. And I wish you guys a great day. And I hope to see you soon. We'll see you around. Maybe on the next live. Think about it.